New tonight, students in Luzerne County are looking to make a difference and help save lives by granting more access to life-saving naloxone. Fox 56's Jake Sauer tells us how they've now teamed up with the fire department to accomplish this task. We like to do this every year. It's been kind of an annual thing for the past four or five years here at Wilkes University. Today, students in the Nesbitt School of Pharmacy at Wilkes University walk to raise awareness about the opioid epidemic and the impact it has on someone's life. It's a huge part of our uh, education regimen that we're learning about opioids throughout the years. It just allows students to come together and kind of learn more about opioid awareness and what the role of pharmacists are specifically within that topic. Co-organizers Jaden Greco and Brianna Hanish say the students are trained on how to administer naloxone, the life-saving drug to combat an overdose. They help with that, so then later on when we're in the field, we have the experience to save people. The group partnered with the Wilkes-Barre City Fire Department, helping raise money through t-shirt and food sales to purchase naloxone for the first responders. Now, in addition to the money that they're raising, the students are also helping teach the fire department and EMS a little bit more about opioids and then how to treat them if someone does overdose. Chief Jay Delaney believes actions speak louder than words and is in awe of all the students have done to help the community. They, they really have made uh, a, an impact on our community to the point where they wanted to help us purchase the, lock, the naloxone and uh, they've done a really good job. Through the partnership and more accessibility to over-the-counter naloxone, Chief Delaney says overdose numbers around the Diamond City have trended down. In downtown Wilkes-Barre, I'm Jake Sarwar, Fox 56 News, 1st to 10. Chief Delaney says in 2022, there were 192 doses of naloxone administered. Last year, there were 104.